Hey guys, it's Isabel. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been like a really long time. Is it, please don't tell me my AC is about to turn on right now. If it does, I apologize. But anyways, I have not sat down to make a video in probably like almost a year, like eight months or something crazy. But um, the reason for that is because school got crazy busy because it was my senior year and I was applying for colleges and worrying about school and all that and so my life just got really busy. Um, there is literally someone walking on my neighbor's roof right now. I need to stop getting distracted. Anyways, um, so yeah, I've just been really busy. I'm taking too long to explain things. But basically, I kind of want to go a different route kind of with my channel. Like I still want to make videos about my life and about fashion. All those things will probably stay. But for those who didn't know, I'm a Christian and it's a really big part of my life and I feel like I want to channel that into my channel, no pun intended. But more specifically, I have been feeling that God has been wanting me to make content specifically about Christianity and about the Bible and about apologetics. Um, for those of you guys who don't know what apologetics is, it's basically uh, defending the Christian faith. The term apologetics derives from the Greek word apologia, which is a formal defense of an opinion, action, or position, and it is typically used in a theological, philosophical, or religious context. I did not do that good of a job explaining it in the video. Anyways. 1 Peter 3.15 says, Always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you a reason for the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. So we are called to defend the Christian faith if anyone has any questions or... Yeah, so... I have noticed a lot in our culture that people are very against Christianity, very against, maybe not even against Christianity, but a lot of people just have the wrong idea about it. Like, for example, people will say, oh, the Bible has been mistranslated. There's a ton of contradictions in the Bible. Um, that's not true. At least not in the way that most people think. Because in the past, there have been instances of people and religious organizations taking the Bible and trans like making their own translations of the Bible that are completely different from what the original text, the message of the original text. And that's where we get cults, and that is not good. But I can talk about that in another video. Um, and one of my goals is to clarify things of that nature. Um, I am by no means an expert, but I feel very passionate about these issues. And I've done my fair share of research on the topic. And I feel like even a lot of Christians aren't aware of some of these things. Unfortunately, people can go up and ask Christians questions like that, hard questions like that, and Christians will not have an answer. And I feel like that's something where we've fallen short in a lot and I think Christians just need to do more research um, but I've been doing research and I always ask questions I really try not to shy away from asking tough questions I have a ton of books behind me a lot of them are actually apologetics books and Christ Christian books in general that help me to just know more about Christianity and the origins of Christianity and the reliability of the Bible, the historicity of the Bible, and I just wanted to share some of that information with you guys because I know so many people in today's culture have so much to say against Christianity and it, it honestly just makes me, it makes me sad to see how often Christianity is misrepresented. And Basically, my goal is to shine a light on the things that are often not talked about enough. I don't know, like, I don't know who's watching this right now because I'm obviously, like, I'm not a well-known person on YouTube, but maybe you guys might know him, maybe not, but there's this YouTuber named Mike Winger. He's a Christian YouTuber, and he's a pastor, and he makes YouTube videos answering questions every Friday, questions about Christianity, questions about the Bible. 
and his goal is to just help people think biblically and he has inspired me a lot and he he's really helped me to think um, deeply about certain issues and has taught me a lot about certain things and I just think his ministry is super cool so you can check him out too if you want he answers a lot of questions on his YouTube channel specifically so that's where I get quite a lot of my I learned a lot from that channel but also the books that I have um, I use the internet freely because the internet is a great resource and you see various perspectives about various issues on the internet there's also a website called got questions and there's like a whole ton of Christian questions questions about the Bible on there that I have also gotten information from also just reading the Bible honestly if you read the Bible thoroughly then it does answer a lot of questions just on its own which is super cool if you ask me yeah so that's kind of where I wanted to go with this channel if anyone has like certain questions that they have I don't care I don't care if you're a Christian I don't care if you're an atheist I don't care if you belong to some other religion I don't care like what your beliefs are I don't care who you are I'm open to answering any questions and if I genuinely don't know an answer I I will say that I don't know an answer but I will do my best to answer questions I will do my research before answering questions um, the other day I actually just posted a question sticker on my story asking if anyone had questions and I got a few questions, but it's gonna be a few days or week, I don't know, I don't know how long it'll be, but I need to do some research and make sure I'm really answering these people's questions like well enough so I don't mislead people on accident. Um, some question, like, there's so many things, like, oh, it's so frustrating. Okay, like, I already said, like, the whole mistranslations thing, um, Hold on a second, actually. I'm pretty sure I have... There's like a list of things that... Objections, like specific objections that a lot of people have towards Christianity. And I'm very passionate about... Oh my gosh. I'm like all over the place, I'm sorry. But I really just want to like show people how cool Christianity is. And... This book, which I'm about to finish, um, it's taken me way too long to finish because school has gotten in the way, but I'm almost done with it, and it's called I Don't Have Enough Faith to Be an Atheist, and I don't care, like, no matter who you are, this is such a cool book, like, it goes through so many different issues, so many different questions, different topics, um, and basically in the end, you realize that contrary to, like, popular belief, Christianity actually makes more sense than atheism and that might offend some people and that's okay but I think you should read this book if you think otherwise but it's crazy and honestly I might even make videos like about the different topics in this book I think that might actually be cool if you're interested in that let me know and I will do that but I probably forgot to say so many things. I'm just excited, I guess. Oh, you know what? I'm going to talk about how I came up with this idea in the first place. So, obviously, I, I mentioned Mike Winger, and I said that I was inspired by him, and I want to make, um, I want to make content similar to his, but I've also, there's other, like, Christian influencers that have also inspired me, but not even just that. Like, I have been praying to God about this for like a few years, like two years I've been praying to God about this. I've been feeling called to like make Christian content and I just like, I do it on Instagram like a little bit, like everyone who follows me should know I'm a Christian. I, I think I make that apparent. But I really do enjoy making YouTube videos and I feel like I just need to start bringing God into my videos and I feel like he needs to be the center of my channel. Anyways, I was I've been praying a lot recently, especially because I've been feeling really like I really just need to get started on doing this whole online ministry thing. Um, so I was praying the other night and I was like, God, just please give me confirmation about this. Like I was about to go to bed. I'm like, just give me something like really show me so that I know 100% it's from you that I need to do this online ministry thing. So I went to sleep and then I had 
like three dreams about having an online ministry and responding to different questions about Christianity. And I have literally, I have never even dreamt about Christianity before. Like it's never, it's never, it's like never entered into my dreams before. So the fact that I specifically prayed that prayer that night and I haven't prayed that specific prayer before, but like, and it was answered immediately and I had like three different dreams that night about being a Christian influencer. Tell me that's not God. Tell me that's not God. Anyways, you can say, oh, it's just because you've been, you were thinking about it a lot before going to bed. I think about this all the time, all the time. It's like always going through my brain. But the one time I pray about it specifically is when I have a dream. Three dreams, let alone. Yeah, tell me that's not God. Anyways, yeah. So that's my thought process and how I have... I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, please give me your ideas if you have any. Um, if you're a Christian, if you're an atheist, if you're agnostic, you don't know what to believe, you're part of a different religion, please stick around. I should have some really cool videos coming up soon about Christianity and how amazing it is. Yeah, so thank you for watching my video. Please let me know if you have any questions or any suggestions. Um, yeah. See you guys later. Goodbye.